Okay, let's see what happens right here. Yep, it's official. Blizzard Lalu will never be the same. Hey guys, Hook to Clash here, and today I'm going to reveal to you all the hidden change to Giant Bombs that Supercell snuck in the last Quality of Life update that took a lot of Blizzard Lalo players by surprise, and it was actually a pretty solid nerf to the army, but there are ways you can mitigate this, and we will talk about it later in the video. Now, if you're on Twitter when the Quality of Life update dropped, you will have seen a lot of the top Blizzard Lalo players posting videos like this, so let me know... Uh, if you can figure out what the change is here. Now, this uh, video here is courtesy of Heroia. I'll link his Twitter in the description down below. But Heroia, obviously an OP Blizzard Lalo player. So the Super Wizard's still there. Now, he brings archers in his Super Wizard... Uh, in his Blizzard, sorry. And as you can tell there, as soon as those Super Wizards move, they trigger the giant double giant bomb that they were literally standing on top of. Now, obviously, that took a lot of people by surprise, because in the past, the archers kind of would come out and activate the giant bombs themselves, and then the super wizards wouldn't have to deal with it. But now, we have a problem. So, I decided to put this into testing in my own FC. Let's have a look at what happened. Okay, so we are live here, and uh, what better place to test changes than an FC? And I think everything you could possibly... Uh, need to know about the change will be revealed to you in the next five seconds. So I'm going to put an archer there. Look at that. That archer's on the outside of the map. Very much stationary. Now, I know a lot of you will be like, well, hooked. What is that proving? And that, more than anything, shows the difference between using archers in a blizzard and the goblins. The archers will not pull the giant bombs unless they move. And because archers are a ranged unit, you're going to have to do a little bit for them to move. Now, if I place the archer here and it moved over the giant bombs, it would have activated them. But because when a blizzard lands, an archer's just going to shoot from its position. So you saw with Heroia before his blizzard failed. I'm going to show you one that works. So we're just going to warden this blimp so it gets to the core. Now, I can reveal... There are two giant bombs behind this scatter in between it and the town hall, obviously. Best place for them to go. So we land the bomb blimp right there, and look at that. Both giant bombs get pulled. Now, how on earth did we manage that? Oh, I can't put down an invis. Thankfully, I'd already proved the point. But how did we manage that? That's because we have the five goblins in the blimp, as you can see right here. And these goblins insta-activated everything there, because when you land... The blimp right in the middle here. The troops have to move. Even if it's 0.1 tiles, that's enough to set off the giant bomb. So going forward, absolutely, this is the best Blizzard CC to use. Now, I know Stars is using barbs, but I don't rate barbs as highly as gobs. I think they get you into more trouble than it's worth. But now that I've kind of shown you all the chat or shown you all the difference in the giant bomb mechanic. Let's get into some live attacks with the five goblin for super wizard CC blizzard. Okay, so we are live here. Let's have a look at this base. Not the greatest base ever. Now, admittedly, I'm in slightly low legends. Uh, I have actually started push up towards the tail end of this season though. Uh, just didn't have the motivation early on, but now we do now. Now, as you can tell, if you had the archer blizzard, you could not land it in this compartment because the archers won't pull because I can only assume there's 10 million giant bombs in this compartment. The archers would not pull this, but let's have a look. Let's see if my gobs can pull all the giant bombs that are absolutely in this compartment. Oh my word, this guy doesn't have any giant bombs in this compartment. Okay, well, base building definitely in low legends has a bit of a way to come, but it's just the security, right? If you took archers in there, you can't guarantee that the blizzard will work. But with the gobs, you're very, very confident. Unfortunately, that last uh, invis technically swagged there. So we're going to start the sui from the top. Because um, we've created the funnel on the right-hand side. And uh, the king and queen have to go to the left here. And we're going to go straight into this air bow and see if, we can, and see if we can attack the core of the base. Um... And why would we want to attack the core of the base? Because that's obviously the most valuable uh, portion of the base to take down for a Lalo attack. Because if you can take down everything, but uh, if, if you can take out, sorry, the entire core of the base, the Lalo is going to have easy pathing around. As you can tell, King and Queen going to go in here. 
I'm not even going to use my RC with this, I don't think. We're going to just use the RC with the Lola. I'm waiting for the Queen to do a little bit more. Yak's doing some nice tanking, actually. We got plenty of time. That's what I like about running into the Super Minion CCs. And let's start the Lalo here. We'll pop the Queen ability. I will actually have to freeze the Scatter because it will lock off the Hound onto my Balloons because uh, the Hound was going over the Scatter Shot and through the Dead Zone. Now we're tr always trying to Warden a Lava Hound. Oh, I popped the uh, RC ability. Oops, that wasn't the best display there. This Wizard Tower is doing work. Wizard Tower, really annoying defense to take down. But this still looks pretty wrecked to me. Not the most beautiful Lalo ever. Look at my Lava Hound. It traveled to actually the wrong air defense. Um, that defensive king is going to be a bit of an issue. We should have a enough time here. We're actually going to wall break my archer. Here comes the headhunter. Probably a second late, but it shouldn't matter anyway. Headhunter does, gets the work done. And that is a triple. Now, obviously, didn't really show off uh, a lot of the Blizzard Lalo here. But, I mean, if we use archers there, you can't be sure. So you need to switch up your Blizzard. Um, hopefully in one of the other replays today, I can show you the benefit of the gobs over the barbs. Because there's some things about the gobs uh, ability to only target resource buildings that is really, really strong. But for now, we're just going to take 40 cups. We are live again here. Let's have a look. Oh, I really don't like hitting these sort of bases. Not a fun style of base to hit. Because you know the town hall's baited with all the giant bombs. So generally what I try and do is I try and land it sort of in this gap you see here. Uh, that's generally the safest play to go. Obviously I'm blizzarding the town hall. Because if you can get a town hall and CC pull, absolutely worth it in my opinion. So we land the blimp kind of exactly where we want. We will have pulled any giant bombs that are in the area just based off where our super wizard landed. Hopefully they go for the CC building next. I would actually be uh, very interested in invising again. Worth it. We don't get the uh, expo down, but still. We'll use one sneaky there, probably worth it. We'll use the other sneaky here. So, what's the plan? We blizzarded one side of the town hall here, and we're going to suey into the other. Now, I'm not actually going to... So I'm going to use my king there. And we're going to use Ice Golem and RC up here. And hopefully that Ice Golem tanks the single. Perfect. And we can get that wall break as well. Double perfect. Does the freeze work? No, it doesn't. Going to have to use one of my two headhunters there. I didn't really want that, but not much I can do. Got to use an invis for... Oh, scatter! You make me sad. Gotta use another freeze as well. RC is not really doing the work we need her to. And I don't have an invis for my queen. Queen, get that eagle! I should have used a freeze. I should have used a freeze. We kind of messed up the suey a bit here then. We go really heavy or early deployment here. We've still got a bunch of hounds. That's the one thing I like. Only five balloons left though. We gotta make sure we use that. And we've only got one head hunter. I'm gonna sneak those loons in. Now, loons are clumping up slightly too much for my liking. I had to pop the warden there, unfortunately, because uh the loons were gonna die. Now thankfully. Thankfully, oh loons, we did not want you to split that way. They keep splitting the worst way every time. Eagle misses. Oh my god, the eagle's actually a clown. Do we actually triple this? Surely not. Oh my word. <laughs> well, uh, we'll take that. Not the prettiest triple. The plan was right. It was just unfortunate when that scatter locked onto my queen. Otherwise, she would have got the eagle and this would have been absolutely wrecked. Um, nicely done there. Not the prettiest Lalo ever, but we were patient enough, used our spells well, and got the three star. Ah, uh, okay, this base. This base will never get old. Now, the blizzard I do on this base 
it wouldn't really matter if you have gobs or not, or gobs or archers, because I land in this compartment, but I know when Stars hits this base, he lands it right here, right on top of a giant bomb. So if you want to do the Stars crack, better bring, uh, better bring a moving set of cannon fodder troops, I guess is the best way of putting it. Uh, there's never usually a Sam there. Um, if we're in High Legends, I'd send a Hound to this air defense just to be sure. Because people do change traps, but no one changes traps in Low Legends. Oh, stop moving, witch. I love getting this ground bow, but I also want to get the RC. Guess this is why I bring five invis. Now, as you can tell, the Rage does run out for the 5th Invis. So if you're going to use it, only use it if absolutely necessary. And I think that kind of counted. We got a Multi-Inferno and the Defending RC down. Um, and nearly that Air Defense. Just using the Baby Drake yet again to set, a, set the funnel. And we are away. Now, in the past, I've always done this. I've always uh, played in the past with Blizzard Lalo without a uh, Ice Golem. This is going to be much easier with an Ice Golem. I did switch up recently. Honestly, pretty happy with it so far. Look at that. That's saving me not one freeze, but probably two. We can poison that. Not sure I needed that freeze or not. I'm going to send the first hound over that wizard tower, second hound over here. When you've got three hounds, honestly, you don't need to get one in the warden ability. Like, because there's just too many hit points. Now, if there's just a... Uh, if there's just two hounds, you absolutely want to get one in the warden ability. But honestly, I'm not even sure I need my warden ability here. Probably just need it for the headhunters to kill the king. Nah, I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use it. This is crushed. Scattershot's going to be the last defense to go down as well, but that doesn't matter. But yeah, how how nice is that with the Ice Golem there? That Blizzard will absolutely always work on this base. And I'm kind of enjoying the 5400s at the moment. So probably in about three or four days time, I should be close to the top 1k just in time for the end of the season. So if you want to see more live... Uh, oh, I've got to dump those. If you want to see more live attack videos, let me know. But we've got a couple more attacks left in our day. Okay, here we go. I hate running into these bases. This is actually one of the reasons that uh, middle legends can be kind of fun. Because you can run into any style of base. Obviously, top of legends, it's all box bases. Gets very repetitive after a while. It does test you. They are the best bases in the world. But it's nothing quite like this. And this, this should show more than anything the advantage of the goblins. So I'm not going to send the uh, blimp straight over. Because that's the most likely spot for Sam's. Have a look at all these giant bombs. Ah, oh, we didn't trigger any of them. That was a really bad rage as well. The gobs went to the CC building. Now, that is one problem with the gobs, is that they will go to, like, other buildings. They're just going to go for the closest one. And you just need to kind of control where you land the blimp. So I need to land it probably a tile higher so they went to the town hall. Thankfully, somehow we didn't activate a, um... Somehow we didn't activate a, uh... A giant bomb. Looks like there just wasn't any there. Looks like we got a spectator. Sucks to be them that they're watching me of all people. So we're going to come into this multi. Uh, this single is like one health. And it's protected by ground targeting defenses. So I'm kind of more than happy with that there. What we're likely going to do, just wall break like that. Do something like this. Now, hopefully the queen does not take the Tesla down. Ugh, we were late. 
Look at this. RC is going to cut across. And we're just going to Lalo in front of the heroes. Kind of. You, they're all, the Lalo is going to be tanking for the heroes. The heroes tanking for the Lalo. And vice versa. It's just all working in unison together. And that's something not a lot of people are very good at doing with their Lalo attacks. Even some of the best players in the world. There goes the haste spell. RC should get this uh, eagle down. We're just going to kind of surround this multi. Just give it no chance. Haste those loons. Because my other loons are kind of fine. Uh, I, I don't mind the timing of them. And look at this. We've actually managed to keep our RC alive. And this is pretty wrecked. I think the only thing that could stop us is time. But we've got a clean up queen. Um, which is really nice. Our RC finally goes down. But I mean, I, I'm pretty happy with the work she put in there. There's a perfectly placed haste spell. So the loons will zoom off into the other defenses, then zoom off the cannon. Bam, bam. That's how you take down one of these awkward style of bases that you can run into in Low Legends. We just sewed the entire base, and I think the biggest thing you can take from this is A, even though the gobs didn't work out, they're still really good option. Uh, at least you can understand when I'm trying to use the uh, uh, them to their fullest capabilities. And B, cutting off the heroes with the Lalo is so strong. Keeps that RC alive, keeps the queen alive. Gets us 40 cups. Okay, so this is the last attack for the day. Let's see if we can finish our shot strong versus another diamond base. So notice we didn't run into a single box today. Genuinely though, let me know in the comments. Because um, obviously a lot of the attackers I have on the channel hit only box bases. Do you guys hit a lot of box bases as well? Or have I just got unlucky today not running into a single box? Because I've done 8 attacks and I've hit mostly diamonds and teasers. Is that meta? Um, and obviously, the last one, we hit an odd ring. Uh, this is... I didn't think about the blizzard we want to do here. Probably should do more of that. And less of just gas bagging. Blizz make it. Phew. Oh, the gobs did not go where the giant bombs are. There could absolutely be a giant bomb right there. There is. Now, the real question is, would have Barb's gotten that giant bomb? I still think no, but something good to note, because the gobs aren't going to be perfect. My my whole thing with them is they're your best option. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to take down that. Can we just... I wonder if we can just... Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I'm kind of hoping we'd just be able to Queen Sui the Town Hall. going to freeze. Oh, did I miss... No, I didn't. Okay, we should be good now. Now, yet again, same as the last one. We're going to cut up our heroes with the Lalo. I'm going to put my Warden really high, though. Okay, Queen is dead. We can put an Archer down there. I kind of wanted to get that, water, that Lava Hound in my Warden ability. Maybe we can still. Oops, that was not meant to be that. Come on. Or we just get the uh, Warden ability there. We get the RC and the Headhunters in it as well. It's just kind of this scatter shot that's going to be a major nuisance here. Um, I'd love to use these spells for my RC, but I'm just going to be really patient and use it on the Lalo. Because uh, the RC doesn't have enough to get through. Oh, I, I hate how quick the scatter shot shoots. I'm not very good at uh, freezing it yet. But that should be enough. Looks like we have plenty of time as well. And we get another base down here. Now, whilst I can explain, uh, the reason I didn't blizzard the tunnel just didn't see much value. And it was going to be really hard to suey through this dead zone. So I landed in there, went the queen for the tunnel. King and RC got good work done. And now we are going to get the triple. And uh, nice to do some hits live for you all again. It has been a while. Like I said, took the first half of the month back off. But we are back and ready to go. Daily uploads will be back as well. Blizzard Lala content always coming on this channel. Even if the way you Blizzard has to change a little bit. Like I said, 
Get those gob CCs out and Blizzard Lala will just be the same as before. But that's it from me. Hopefully you enjoyed the content and maybe I'll see you soon.